I pulled up to her house a quarter past on time. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome everybody, welcome. Hey Vincent, how's it going? Rubber, split, buckum, how's it going buddy? You're up early this morning. Rain, how's it going? Hope you're well today. Just getting all the hellos in. Uh, back on the claim today. Roland, hey man, how's it going? Hope you're well. Uh, the one person who has been complaining about Gold Rush is not here. Bob, where are you at, man? Where are you at, Bob? You should be here with us. I'm sure he'll be in shortly. Uh, he has been wanting to see Gold Rush, and we're doing Gold Rush, and he ain't here. Kind of hurt my feelings. <laughs> I am I am good today. Yep, very much so. Uh, although, we do need to refuel this thing before we can get started. Uh, I want to be on this claim one more day. Um, one more stream. There's an update tomorrow. And I'd already said I would stream this before I found out there was an update. So, I'm going to stream this for a little while. And I think the plan is... Um... Buckham, if you're still down, I think we're going to do some uh, Sea of Thieves with Buckham a little bit later. Uh, probably here in about an hour. So, hey Kelly, how's it going? Gargoyle, how's it going, man? Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to do some uh, some co-streaming with, uh, with Buckham on some Sea of Thieves. Uh, Big Pace is going to be playing with us. and um, Buckham, who's, is Nanners joining us, or do you know? Or is it just going to be us three? I don't, I don't know if Nanners is going to be here or not. So. But uh, we, about an hour or so, we do plan on doing some Sea of Thieves for you guys. So, But uh, I thought, man, we hadn't done any Gold Rush in a while. It'd be nice to jump in here and do some for a little bit. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to have to take just a few minutes um, uh, changing games. Yar, back on, uh, back on the seas. Uh, I am going to have to take just a few minutes uh, to change titles on all of the different streaming services I'm streaming to. So... Uh, do keep that in mind. When we do change games, it's gonna it's gonna be you know two or three minutes, and it'll be right back up. But uh, Nanners may join us either way. We can make a three man galley, no problem. Yeah, I've never never been on one, but I don't want to be the captain on this one. I want to I want to run around and do stuff. So think full yet? It is. I was trying to right click to. Uh, Hang on, does this work? Can we refuel itself? Um, why do you even want to connect the fuel pistol to the fuel tank? Okay, I guess I guess it doesn't work that way. <laughs> I thought we could make fuel there, but we can't. Loots! Rubber's starting with the loots already. Good deal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn the engine back on here. Oh, this thing's still running. That's why it's out of fuel. Good gracious, man. Turn off. So how do we turn this thing off? I can't even remember. Um, operator mode. Deactivate. T. G is to activate. Okay. Well, we'll turn that on here shortly. Not yet. Not yet. We'll turn it on a little bit. We're going to go dig some dig some ground first. First, we're going to get this guy up here out of the way. Does anything else need fuel in it? I don't think so. I think we're good. Morning Tank, how are you? Hope you're well. Drop by for some Overwatch on Aussie Tank stream earlier. He tends to stream, in, be ending his streams most of the time just when I'm getting out of bed. So, hashtag where's Bob? I know. Somebody put that in the Discord. Hashtag where's Bob? Um, I figured he would be here, honestly. All right, let's go dig some dirt and fill these, uh, fill these things up here. Uh, I guess the first thing we're going to do is is find a new uh, spot to dig. We may have to move stuff around a bit here. So let's go to gold map. Parcel 4 is where we are. True, true. There's some, it looks like some pretty decent gold back here that's not very deep, but uh, I don't think we're getting to that. Let's see, 419. Toggle square there. Let's see where that comes up. That's the one we're sitting on. So we do need to move back just slightly. Is there anything next to 19? No, there's nothing there. So we've basically mined out this area. It means we're going to have to move over to here. There's pretty decent gold in these. Uh, there's 1,600 ounces there, 2,200 ounces, and 2,000 ounces. This one has um, 324 ounces left in it. It may not even be worth mining, to be quite honest. But uh, 
This is not that far down. We might go ahead and do it. Um, is this extended out at all? It's not. So we need to move this one back. Uh, probably straight back right there. I think it would be, uh, be a good idea. So, uh, any updates on this game? Yeah, there is an update coming out tomorrow for this. And, uh, I'm going to be streaming this again next, uh, Tuesday, hopefully. Um, toward the end of next week, I am going to start, uh, start getting into my work. So, uh, I have a festival, not this weekend or next weekend, but the next weekend is my first festival of the year. And uh, I've got to go up to the shop and get some stuff ready next week. So next week we'll have a, a Monday and Tuesday stream, uh, maybe a Wednesday stream, and then I'll just upload a Farmer's Dynasty video for Thursday. So, uh, just keep, you know, keep, keep an eye out on what's going on with the, with the different streams and such. So, uh, stay up to date on those. Now, uh, crank this thing. Do that. We want to tilt this thing down. I forgot how to tilt. Uh, that's not it. Let's get out. I don't want to get out. Let's see, let's go to controls here. We want to, um, shift. We're going to raise and lower. So we want to lower the belt. Light. Whoa. Okay. Back up some first. No, no, not turn. Back up. Woo! Sensitivity is wild this morning. And then I want to raise the belt. That shouldn't be in my way. That should be pretty good right there, actually. You know, we could drive forward just a bit. Fuel tank is empty. Dang it all. Of course it's empty. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, I wonder if we can uh, extend this thing. Uh, extend belt. Nope, we gotta have some fuel in it. We gotta have some fuel in it. There's a loots coming in, and I forgot to put up loots. Give me just a second, folks. There we go. Now I got loots on the screen. Now I can see the loots. Thank you, Roman, for the loots from my wife. Much appreciated. Thank you all for the loots. Where did my truck go? Did I park it up top? I think I did. I think I pulled it all the way back up top. I got to put fuel in this thing now. Uh, we're pretty close right there. We just got to extend it out. Actually, we probably could just back this one up, but we can't uh, move it anymore. The... Get in this truck here and get some fuel in that rig. Uh, probably need to go ahead and fuel this thing back up too. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, I can't believe Bob ain't in here, guys. We'll have to rub it in. Bob missed it. Bob missed the first uh, Gold Rush stream in a month. It has been a month too. I didn't realize it. So. This should get us here go <laughs> did you guys enjoy the different music for the intro I felt I felt like doing something different last night so a uh, buddy of mine has had a band for years and I sent him a text last night I was like hey man you mind if I use some of your songs for some stuff for gaming and he said no go ahead man use whatever you want I said okay so uh, threw that together last night I uh, worked on a bunch of stuff yesterday when I got back from work. Uh, for the stream, I made some new overlays for different things, subscribers, donations, that kind of stuff. So, um, And then worked on the intro and uh, stuff as well. So, Just a different, different kind of music. You know, something different. And again, a buddy of mine owns the rights to the music, so it only made sense, right? Hey, Brittany, how's it going? Hope you're well. Obviously, this game's not as exciting as other ones. Yeah, it can it can be that way. Uh, it is a simulator, just like everything else. So, um, 
And I do enjoy the simulators. Thought I wanted that one. Uh, this one's more about getting creative, I think, with the dirt for now. I don't know what the update's going to have in it. Uh, if Bob were here, he could tell us. But uh, Since Bob's not here, I guess we're going to have to wonder forever about it. By the way, how's every? I think every's good. <laughs> Rubber, how's everyone? <laughs> vat? Vat. Really, vat. That's kind of strange. Vat? By the way, what does what it spell it out, Rubber? What does it, what does it look like? I'm curious now. Bigger pump, bigger pump. Oh, the big water pump. Is that right? Uh, that's right. That's right. Move this guy over here out of the way for now. I think I remember hearing about that. Ah, okay, Brittany. I got you. Well, that's cool. I'm glad you guys both enjoy, honestly. Loot's coming in. No, no, just uh, yeah. In Dutch, how's it how's how is it spelled out? Because BTW in English is by the way. So what? Is, how do you spell it? And oh, there you go. Nice. All right. Let's see if I remember how to do this with the with the controller now. Get into. Uh, Get into this view here again, I think. Way we can make sure we're picking up the right dirt. And you know what I want to do? Something we didn't do. Uh, I want to make sure I got this guy right here. <laughs> Lined up with that one. That's something we didn't do. We just filled it up. That's all we did. We filled it up and left. Go to this view here. Crank it up. And I think... Was it R? Um, R. There we go. I want it as low as I can get it on that end. Um. Nope. Turn it off. There we go. Now we should be good right there. Uh, I do want to go start up this one. And fill up uh, the conveyor bucket here first. Oh, Mr. the loot's rubber. Yar, Deuce is a pirate, same as Pace, Buckham, and Netters. That is true. That is very true. We are all going to be pirates today at some point. At some point, we will all be pirates. We all will be sailing the seas, you see. Seas. See? Too many seas. Well, thanks, Brittany. I appreciate it. And that's kind of the that's kind of the main thing is is the YouTube channel is is definitely uh, I've definitely tried to keep it family friendly. And then you know if I do stream some other stuff, I'll try to stream it on uh, Twitch and Mixer only and take YouTube out of the equation. Um, just because other content may not be as family friendly, I may not be as family friendly on some other content. So. Rubber, I don't even know what that is. I kind of want to. I kind of want to delete it. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right? Right, Gray? What does that even mean? I don't know what that means. Uh, let's see. I want to turn this thing on. So I want to go here and activate belts. Perfect. Uh, let's get rid of that. Now that I know it's G, we should be good to go. Tell your friends and tell their friends too. That's right. Tell everybody. Let everybody know. Uh, let's see if we can get back in here now. Uh, I should be able to reach that no problem. The arm's out there pretty far. I'm going to have to back up quite a bit uh, to make this work out. But we should be okay. Let's go uh, engine on. 
you break off and driving mode let's back up some probably about right there should be good and let's go back to my fault we'll get done with these camera angles here in a minute there we go go back to the digging mode we will try to get most of this in that uh it's going to take quite a while to fill that thing up up there so uh we do have another frankenstein on the claim you know what i may need to drive back forward just slightly crap i keep doing that there we go oh yeah that's better make sure we're getting the maximum amount of dirt in there um but yeah i may need to get the other frankenstein out at some point and uh start moving dirt backwards Coming from the back of the claim somewhere, I guess. I don't know. Right, Buckham? That's the reason I don't do Rocket League on YouTube. Right there. <laughs> That's why I game on Twitch. Right, Tank? Right? Yeah, man. Uh, that and some of the other stuff I do is at night. And uh, not generally when you guys are on, so I don't feel like it's as bad. I must get my boots because there are lots of loots. Wait, do I need boots? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. To be honest, I keep hitting the wrong trigger. It's been a while since I played, so. Uh. Forgot all my controls. Like most gamers, that's right. Like most games, yeah. This is kind enough to put up a reminder half a day ago, so I'm here for the community. This game puts me to sleep. And you ain't kidding. Um, unless you're into this game, it will. It, it's definitely not. Uh, it's definitely not. Uh, you know, Fortnite. Fortnite's gotten outrageous. Uh, everybody wants to play Fortnite right now. I don't want to play Fortnite right now. I don't want to play Fortnite, honestly. Hmm, my thumbs are a bit rusty. I don't remember how to uh, do this as smooth as it used to be. Pretty sure there's no gold in that dirt right there, but we got to trim this top layer down. So I think there's gold here, though, a little bit. Looks like most of it's going to be on the other side. So in that line around the square, for you guys that don't know, that square line around the uh, spot that I'm digging here, when it turns a brighter color gold, means there's more gold. So. Uh, the deeper down you get, as you see there, there's more gold down low. Well, thought I had some dirt there. We gotta play PUBG one day. Yeah, Tank. Yeah, man, absolutely. We'll uh, walk up on some PUBG. It'd be fun. Uh, I hate that we missed the opportunity during the eight-man server thing. That would have been fun. Got a whole crew in there. At two or three percent of the time, it's gonna take quite a while to fill that thing up up there. I think so. Uh, we'll go for a few minutes and then go check it and then go for a few minutes and go check it. We'll just have to keep an eye on everything. <laughs> I want to play my first first match PUBG with all you do some maybe pace. Uh, I don't know if you want to play it with me. I'm pretty terrible. I get killed and just get in the way a lot. So My... Uh, my first person shooter skills did not age as well as Dr. Disrespects did, so. He's he's still pretty good to be his age. <laughs> you loot you loot for twenty minutes and then run for fifteen and then you die to the line or something weird, yeah. That's my PUBG experience. Right there. You're a potato, so am I, dude. My, my aim is awful. But uh, I do enjoy it. I do have a lot of fun playing it. Um, I uninstalled Rocket League, so I'll no longer be playing Rocket League ever again. 
I will live vicariously through the RLCS and watching the tournaments they have. So, two time back to back blockbuster champion of the year. No, you can't beat that. Really funny. Watching his character, I it, it's a, I can't watch him play uh, PUBG though for some reason. And me and Pace were talking about this, and it's because he's a cartoon character. I mean, he is. He he. Everything about him is just a character, and he looks like he's straight out of a cartoon somewhere. So it makes sense for him to play Fortnite. Fortnite, I can watch him play. It's fun. PUBG, I can't watch him play it though. It's really weird. Oh yeah, I uninstalled it. I deleted it. It's gone. Uh, man, it, it's going to be a while before I install it again. It's going to be a long while before I install it again, actually. Uh, mainly because busy season's coming up. We're going to be pretty limited on uh, getting videos done anyway. So with all that, I'm not going to have time to uh, play a whole lot of extra stuff. So Rocket League's out of the question for a little bit anyway. Those little gold chunks in that, you can see them flaking. Break Marl is always good. A break mini game's good though. Um, I feel like every time I take a break from trials and then go back to playing it, it's uh, it's like three times as easy for some reason. I don't know why. Like you take a break and let your mind really set on everything going on. You know, it's like your mind gets to gets to have that time to itself to go. Oh, this should have been this way, you know. And I feel like, I feel like maybe that'll help me on Rocket League, but I didn't even want to tempt myself by playing it, so I just uninstalled it. I don't even care. Don't care. Uninstalled. Check on this. Uh, check on this guy up here and see how it's doing. See how full it is or empty it is. I guess it depends. See how empty it is. I guess. Be getting there though. You have at least thirty percent in it. Oh, oh goodness, it's a hundred percent. Okay, that didn't take near as long as I thought it was going to. Okay, let's uh, let's stop you. Let's stop it. There we go. Holy moly, we're wasting, wasting gold there. Uh, let's get this one filled up then, I guess. Can't see the uh, fill percentage because this one's in the way. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this one down, I think. Z, lower belt. Is that way we can see what's happening. Uh, maybe. Yeah, at least we can see it from there anyway. Alright, let's go sleep. It's getting dark. Come on, up the hill. That. See the pirate captain found loot. He did. What's up, Manny? How's it going, man? Hope you're well. You're well today. Sleep till dawn. Somebody wants to work for you? The fuel is low. Oh, crap. We forgot to turn everything off, guys. Gold gather by workers. I don't think we have, uh... Fuel tank is empty. Of course it is. Because I didn't turn anything off, you big dummy. Hmm. Okay. All right. Not panic. Somebody wants to work for us. Let's go see who wants to work and let's put them to work. Of 
workers uh, awaiting. So he's got 35%. Uh, let's hire him anyway. We'll, we'll put him on. So we'll put him on like a hog pan or something. Night Hog Valley, Drilling Machine, D Rocker, Duplex Jig, Trommel, Dump Truck. Uh, oh, good. They added. I didn't realize they added this other stuff. Planner. Put him on the uh, gravel pump. Put him on the gravel pump. There we go. I don't even think I'm using the gravel pump. Let's put him on it. Shut down. Daytime. We should be good. Good to go again. Uh, go get fuel and stuff again, of course, because I'm a moron. And I forget to fuel things up. Surprise, surprise. What is empty? This guy. This guy is completely empty, which means it's going to be extremely fun getting that trailer in here. Um... We'll try to back it right through there, I think. You're back, you think? All right. Welcome back. Easy trailer, easy. But hold my breath here, guys, because I want to make this work the first time without uh, throwing too much of anything. Hang on. That has a light glitch in it. Well, I say that. But it's not moving for some reason. That should be close enough. Loot's coming in. As a super long fueling hose. Ladies and programmers to combine far gun. Digging for gold. Thank you for the loots, man. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh programmers to combine farm truck summer car games with gold rush and the uh, demolish and build to create an awesome multiplayer crossover you're absolutely right manny i 100 percent agree i would uh i'd rather see that to be honest uh and of course the loots advertisement was for far cry 5 if you haven't seen it yet the game is fantastic it's probably pretty controversial and it's definitely an adult game so don't go buy it for your kids unless you want them playing that kind of game uh we were having a discussion me and pace were having a discussion about this um, Pace is a family member that is a uh, manager at GameStop and I worked there part time through uh, like the holiday season one of my friends worked there and he was like uh, and I frequented the store too uh, he was like you need a job in the, in, the, in the holiday season don't you and I was like not, not really but I mean I guess you know and uh, so I worked there for a little while and the thing that I saw the most that just, just blew my mind was the amount of parents coming in to buy their kids stuff like Call of Duty, and we're not talking, it's just Call of Duty, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, I played shooting games and stuff growing up too, but at the same time, I mean, you're talking about, you know, like Battlefield, gore and everything else, and it's not really that gory, but stuff like Gears of War. Gears of War is pretty gory. Um, you're talking about six and seven year old, eight year old kids playing this stuff, right? Now, while I do agree, that there are studies to show that it alters, uh, it, it doesn't alter it, it, well it does alter, it um, makes you numb, makes you adjust better to that kind of behavior, you know? Uh, at the same time, you know, there are a lot of parents that, that would come in and just go, yeah, he's okay to buy it, you know, and I was like, oh, you have to buy it, you know, he can't hand me the money, you have to buy it. And I honestly think if, if more stores did that, that would help out some on the video game thing. Do we need to ban video games? No, absolutely not. Are video games the sole problem? No, absolutely not. Uh, so, you know, it was one of those things uh, that we had that discussion on, and I thought that was a pretty interesting topic. You know, I grew up playing video games. You know, I'm, I'm 33, I started playing the Atari, and then went to the Nintendo and the Super NES, or the NES, and then 
went to the Nintendo uh, GameCube or whatever, I've had a PlayStation, had Sega Genesis, um, had lots of different hand-me-down games and, and game consoles from friends and, and whoever, but uh, I just, I don't think people realize what they're buying for the kids anymore, you know? I don't think people care, though. I mean, you really think about it, it's the age of social media. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if you buy the game or not, your kid's going to be able to watch it on YouTube if you don't check on that as well. You call it helicopter parenting all you want to, but honestly, when I was a kid, we didn't have that available to us, right? So, you know, mine had to lose, she lost her YouTube privileges, not because she was watching stuff she wasn't supposed to be, but because YouTube was suggesting videos that she shouldn't have been being suggested. You know what I mean? Like... So it's it's one of those things. It's like you gotta you gotta kind of keep an eye on it because it's a different era than when I was a kid. So I don't think it's helicopter parenting by any means. I'm not a fan of that. My dad was kind of a a free range father, you know. Let him let him go fall out of the tree a few times. He'll learn not to fall, you know, kind of thing. And I think that helped me out a lot. So some parents just don't seem to understand how bad some of those games are for kids. Right, right. And it's not that the games are bad for 18-year-olds, even 16, 17-year-olds, right? I know your your prefrontal cortex is still developing until you're 25, all that kind of stuff, but at 16, 17, 18, you have a much better understanding than you do at 7, 8, 9, and 10. Like, I, th I think that's a, a different a different deal. Also, you're 33 this year as well? Cool, man. What game are bad for kids? Rubber, anything to do with blood and gore and guts and stuff, man, honestly, like, there, it's it's not even debatable, honestly, at that point, um, because there are psychological studies done that it numbs kids to the idea of death and all that kind of stuff, like, it, it, it changes the way they develop their brain around it, you know what I mean? So, and there are scientific studies to back all this up, it's not even, um, it's not even, uh, debatable, really. But at the same time, I had to get a drink. Uh, at the same time, um, I, I don't, the government shouldn't be the one to step in and say what you can and can't do. That's not what I'm saying, right? And I don't want to go into political side of this, I, just more the gaming aspect of it and that kind of stuff. But um, I, I think, honestly, if you if you want your kids not to be as out there as they are as we've seen some of these kids lately right in the news and stuff we've seen some of these other kids that, that go out and do these violent things um be there you know be be aware because it's a different age than it was 20 years ago 20 years ago we didn't have facebook and myspace and youtube and all this kind of stuff so uh, just be aware you know i think more parents are losing touch but everybody's starting to come back around I think some parents are maybe going too far from my taste but it's it's all opinion at that point I'm not telling you you're a bad parent whatever everybody has their own way of doing things um, my dad like I said my dad was one of those guys he'd be like yeah go let him fall out of the tree a few times and he'll learn not to climb the tree or learn how to hang on one of the two you know that was my dad he did, I didn't really get in trouble for a whole lot I had to really mess up to get in trouble from my dad so um, and I think I think I turned out okay you know, maybe not the best, but I turned out okay. Definitely turned out better than my brother. That's for sure. Desensitizing, that's what I was thinking of, Kelly. Yes, but yeah, there are actual scientific studies on this that, that is incontrovertible. Like, there's no, there's no discussion about it, that's just it. Half the cartoons these days should be 16 plus, language attitude. Or source of adult old school shooters like Battlefield 1942 Vietnam. That's true. That is true too, Manny. And while I do agree with that, I'll also point back to Ren and Stimpy. I love the Ren and Stimpy show, right? Uh, Rocco's Modern Life in the 90s. These 90s cartoons are real monsters. Like I watched all these when I was 8, 9, 10, 11, you know. And those shows, looking back on them now, are very adult cartoon shows. Very much so. Put gas in the digger. Oh, is it low of fuel? Oh, it is. It is. You're right. Thanks for the catch, farmer. Appreciate it. Play Sonic sits on the lap. Farmer's Dynasty and tracks. Cool, man. 
See, that's good though. That's good though. You want them. They're going to grow up in an age where technology runs everything. Like we say that now, but it doesn't, right? Technology still doesn't run everything. But your kids' kids are going to grow up in, in a world where technology runs, literally runs the world. I highly believe that. Me and my husband totally agree. We don't let our kids play the games unless we're sitting with them. Make sure it's appropriate. They don't watch YouTube unless we're all in the same room. Right, right. And and we're kind of the same way. I, you know, kid wanted a gaming PC, so I built one. And um, she's got almost as good of a gaming PC as I do. Um, because I'd used a bunch of old parts after I'd upgraded to build hers. So, uh, But yeah, she's got a pretty nice gaming PC. And we let her play Minecraft and modded Minecraft, all that kind of stuff. So... Beavis and Butthead? Right, Manny, that's what I'm saying. Like, we grew up with all that. So if you really think about it, our generation was desensitized to an extent, you know? And I think it's just gradually gotten worse, honestly. Really looking back. Uh, being said on the channel, no one gets into trouble if they're watching the wrong phone. We monitor our kids very well. I missed the last part of that. But yeah, I agree, though. Party training at work, sometimes I forget. Well, I mean... Bob, you finally made it. Way to drag in, Bob. Jeez. We we're talking about you waiting on you the whole time here, man. What? Brain, what are you talking about? Oh, Papa. Yeah. Yeah, there, see, that's what I'm saying. There were some very uh, adult features in a bunch of children's cartoons back then. But uh, again, you know, I don't think it's so much the the. It's not it's not all of a sudden that this is happening. If you look at the cartoons and stuff that even my generation watched as kids, that you know, some of the older older folks in the chat here, it was your generation that let us watch it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you really consider that. If you think about it that way, then then that's that's kind of the way it went, you know. And I, don't, I think it's been a gradual desensitization because of technology. <clears throat> Just got up. Hashtag Bob is late. Yes, he is. Well, I'm glad you can make it, Bob. Uh, we're gonna play this for about another 30 minutes or so, and then we're gonna hop over to some Sea of Thieves and with Buckham and Pace and maybe Nanners. I don't know if Nanners gonna be around or not. But. Hashtag Blame Rubber. That's right. Um, I was 13, he brought me a moped home from the scrap heap. Best hobby ever, I still got it. Nice. Nice, Manny. <clears throat> Rewatch Looney Tunes? Dude, I haven't rewatched Looney Tunes in years. We were watching, uh, from time to time we'll catch Animaniacs. You know, just, just because. And Animaniacs is the same way. It's filled with adult humor, too. But it's a lot of fun, though, you know? And, and I get it. There's a lot of stuff that kids just don't catch. And I'll admit, when I was a kid, I didn't see all this kind of stuff because you just don't get it, you know? But there are other things that are blatant and obvious that desensitize, right? Such as uh, chainsawing somebody in half. Um... But again, that's up to the parent, you know. If 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 your kid, if you if if you want to raise your kid that way, th I don't I don't care. You know what I mean? It's n it's nothing to do with me. But then don't turn around and go blame society for ruining your child. You know what I mean? Like that's not the way that works. You can look at the studies and go, well, maybe if I keep them away from this, then it might help. You know. But I mean, my thing is, don't don't do it and then go blame society for it. That's at 100% too. And we also need to put fuel in this thing. Thank you, Farm. Uh, far, farm. What was, your, what was the name? Crapper, I forgot. Either way, thanks for reminding me because I forgot what it is. Uh, that's 100%. So let's stop there. And we need to put fuel in this thing somehow. I'm not real sure how to get uh, down to you there, buddy. Hmm. Uh, let's see if we can just pull alongside him there. That might be the best way. Yarg, gonna do some Sea of Thieves. That we be, sir, that we be. Um, Buckham, is Pace around yet? Have you seen Pace? Probably not around yet. It's usually about 12, 15, my time, so. We do need to drill a few more holes here because I think we can probably get some more gold out of this place if we drill a few more holes. 
even in my D and D characters with all these good guys. Right. So that's what I'm saying. And a lot of people may not have the same experience. So uh, again, I don't. I don't care how you parent. Whatever you want to do, it's you. You know. Uh, me personally, I I tend to side on the psychological studies that have been proven over and over again. So. No, it's right here though. It's right here. It's so close. All right, well, let's uh, let's put that down. We'll move him over just slightly. Break zone. Stupid. Cut them in half, still better than Barney. Bob, I'm not disagreeing with you. I cannot disagree with you there, Bob. You're 100% right, buddy. Uh, Barney was awful. <laughs> uh, the good thing is, sorry about that, knocking stuff over on the desk again. Uh, good thing is, is I was never subject to Barney other than my niece. Right, so I didn't have to grow up watching that crap. That was awful. No pace yet? Okay. That's true, Manny. That is that is a big part of it. Is you gotta you gotta make it known what the difference is, you know. And again, it's not like every every kid out there is losing his mind, right? That's not the case. It's it's that um, there are people out there with instabilities that some things mold their mind into. That's the best way I can say it. And I mean, I'm not trying to be mean about it. That's that's just, you know. How many carpets you can dip for each bucket? Uh, Sojin? I'm going to go with Sojin. I believe that would be three uh, per bucket. But I normally, I think it's maybe two. Two per bucket. Uh, I think would be right. Get back up there. Um, was this empty? Yeah, that's empty. How much fuel did we get in this? Yeah, I think it's three. Uh, Bob may know a bit more about that than me, though. Four. You can get four per bucket. There you go. He told you Bob was already on it. I didn't even have to. He didn't even. He didn't even hear what I had said about him before he answered. He knew. He's got it. Four buckets max. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, let's try this in, in first person. Nah, I like the, I like this mode. I like being outside the cab. It's bright and sunny. And I'm gonna clean this corner off right here while we're going. Oh, I don't reach there, do I? I don't even want to know how close we are to the edge there. Probably pretty close. Oh, uh, just a bit. We're about hanging over the edge. That's okay, though. Yeah, I think I think you're right, though. I think it's one of those things you gotta you gotta make sure. No matter what, no matter what the subject may be, that your kids understand the differences in the goods and the bads, all that kind of stuff. I mean, I, I agree with that 100. percent there's no, there's no way around that. I mean, like, yeah, I, I don't see a problem with kids playing Call of Duty and stuff as long as they know the difference in the video game and what life is like, you know? But again, that's that's just kind of me. I don't... I guess I got that from my dad, so... You like this cam, Bob? Yeah, me too. All rights, no responsibilities. That's right, man. Everybody has a right to everything. Not, not my life. Not my, not the way I live. You want something around here? You gotta earn it. I 
Ours is doing pretty well. We used, uh, so the, her, her mom used, um, like chips as kind of a good reward system when she was younger, right? And she started getting a little older. She's, she's past 10 now. So, uh, we started using money and chores and all that kind of stuff. So now she's, you know, doing chores and stuff and making money and she doesn't, um, she doesn't get toys and stuff, you know, she's like, Hey, I want to buy this. Um, but I only have this, you know, I'm going to save up. And if I save up the money, will you buy this for me on Amazon? Yes. Or will you buy this for me on wherever, you know, wherever you can find it cheaper or when we go to the store or whatever, you know? So, I mean, she's, she's doing really good about, I want to save my money and buy this thing because this one's not quite as important. And she's starting to figure out the, the value of money, you know, and it's just really cool to see that because, um, I wish I would figure it out at some point. Um, <laughs> Money, money still to me is just a, a means of survival and that's it. Uh, survival in the modern times. So, uh, you can't go live off the land. It's illegal, apparently. Belt stop. Yep. Uh, the belt in front of it's full and the hopper up there is full as well. I think. So, I'm filling up this hopper. That way I can run all three at the same time. It's just a good way to sit here and dig and not have to uh, run back and forth every few minutes and turn stuff off and on and refuel and all that. So, I think you may have to do a bit of refueling to start with, but once you get everything kind of settled in, you can just fill this one up and then you can go turn the plant on and run all three at the same time and just stand around and wait. Or you can come back and keep digging and keep putting the dirt in the box, I guess. Cable guy just left and I got booted. It's supposed to be fixed. Kelly, I know the feeling. Uh, we we it's, it wasn't it wasn't necessarily the internet provider here this time today. It was uh, we got some storms coming in and stuff. So uh, as the wind starts picking up, starts moving tree limbs around on top of the lines and all that kind of stuff. So uh, y'all know how that is. Or some of you do anyway. So. Uh, they had an outage for a few minutes, but it was not listed as an outage on the website because it wasn't a uh, a scheduled outage. You know what I mean? It wasn't a maintenance thing. It was just a, an accidental, whoops, we're putting it back now. We're good to go. So it was out for about 20 minutes, and that was it. We were good to go again. granddaughter had to spend her own money uh the item was not as important suddenly she she prioritizes a lot better now right so she still had to like when she earned reward chips she would still have to turn those in to to be able to get things right so other than you know necessities or stuff that we thought she might like uh just as kind of a um good behavior deal or whatever but um as far as stuff that she wanted even when she was doing the chips instead of money she had to save up her chips and turn those in. So she's always kind of had the currency thing in mind. But now that she actually has money instead of the chips, and now she has to spend it, it's it's changed her a lot, I think. I think she's um, she's a smart kid. She really is. But yeah, she, she goes, okay, so I really want this, but this is more important, so I'm going to save up and buy this one first. That kind of stuff. So, oh boy, I think Pace might be around soon. Everyone quick, hide. <laughs> um foggy screen a foggy screen What's wrong with a screen <laughs> sorry guys rain in there Kelly yep see that's what I'm talking about and uh, it's it depends on your area and this and that, but yeah, Karen, she she she's done. Yeah, she did get a little more, she get a little more uh, frugal with with her what she wanted to buy and what she didn't want to buy, uh, which is always fun to watch because I'm not frugal at all. Like if I have the money and I want something, I just go buy it, and that's a terrible way to live your life. <laughs> a terrible way to live your life for sure. Uh, yeah, everything's at 100%. I'm going to turn this guy on here. Rommel. 
conveyor belt. Turn these two on. No water, I mean, no uh, dirt going in yet. Now we can go turn the water on. Can't see, but just shadows. Anybody else having that problem? Right, Corrine. That's that's my thing. And, you know, two years ago, she was like, I don't really care about money. And I was like, well, you got to care about it a little bit. Like, I care enough about money that I know that I got to have it, you know? I don't care about it enough to, to if I if I want something and I've got the extra money, I'm not going to go, well, I really don't need it. No, I'm going to go get it if I want it. You know what I mean? Like, good there. Uh, try refresh and split. See what that does. No problem there. Okay. Turn the water on first, Bob. I know, but I'm not running dirt through the plant yet. I was waiting to run the dirt through the plant. There's not even anything in the, uh... Oh, they added light. Look at that. They When did they do that? I don't remember that being on there. They added the lights for the stuff. That's pretty neat. Now we should have some dirt going in any second here. There it goes. First dirt load. There it is. Right there. There we go. Okay. First dirt. First load in. Run down here and watch everything, I guess. Oh, boy. Fell on the buckets. Lots of weird looking numbers on the screen here. When this gets down a little bit, we should be able to, uh, personal quality of life. Right, right. That's, 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 that's a good way to put it. Go, uh, own. Bucket is full. What bucket's full? Ain't no full buckets over here. Hey, nothing full over here. Shut up. Crazy game. I'll be glad when they update this thing tomorrow, Bob. Definitely. Alright, there we go. Let's run some dirt through this thing for a bit and just talk. We'll wait on pace to get here. Reset net. Okay, split. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it may just be the, the screen itself. Uh, not not your monitor, but like the, the stream. Just like refresh. It should be good. <laughs> bucket is full. What bucket is full? Do I have another bucket down here I don't know about? No, none of these are full. Be quiet, game. I guess it's going to give us that bug for a little while. I've never had money, so I learned not to spend it. Retired, I'm going to give myself permission to buy a new pair of sneakers. Roland, I understand, man. There's a reason I'm still broke. It's because I'm bad with money, and I know it. You know what I mean? Like, I I don't have money. I mean, I, you know, I live paycheck to paycheck just like everybody else in my area, and it's because I'm bad with money. If I was good with money, there's no way I'd be broke, you know? I was making more at 19 years old, double at 19 years old what I'm making now, you know, but I enjoy what I do now a lot more. So, hey, Nanners, how's it going? I didn't think you'd be around. I didn't know if you'd be around or not. So, back and clear. Good deal. Uh, you know, you should not buy it. You know, you have upcoming bills. Oh, yeah, yeah, Manny, I'm talking about, like, you know, if you have extra money and, and bills are paid for and uh, you have a few extra bucks laying around and you really wanted this thing for a little while and you just go, you know what, I'm just going to buy it. Get it over with. Fell out the first time my 12 year old son asked me for $100 on a pair of jeans. No, sir. We shop at the dirt cheap around here. Mm hmm. You spend no $100 on jeans. Ain't nobody in their right mind need a $100 pair of jeans. Ridiculous. Kids are still available at Foresight. I didn't finish that thought. Gee, Manny. I mean, uh, Manny, you're right. Was that Manny who said that? Hang on a second. Game's gonna keep... Yeah, Manny. Right, Kelly? Yeah. You want a $100 pair of jeans, go get a job. See how long it takes you to make that $100. See if you still want those jeans or not. It takes some time to make that hundred dollars. 
All right, no more dirt falling off of this one. Nope. It is empty. We'll stop that one. This one's got 52% dirt left in it, it looks like. Or thereabouts. Yeah, 47. Um, 25% full, maybe, off all of this. What if they're super comfy with plaid inside? Well, then I guess you better hope you work a lot of hours. I still ain't buying them for you. Three pairs of jeans, $900. That's ridiculous. Buy three outfits for a hundred bucks. Bob, the entirety of my clothes for a full season of my of my work cost me less than a hundred dollars. That's new socks, shirts, shorts, everything, underwear, everything. I mean, I get everything for less than less than a hundred dollars. But. I mean, I wear plain shirts and stuff like that, and I work outside, so they're not designer. So, how do you screenshot in game? It is uh, F12, I believe, on the keyboard. Be able to screenshot. Deliver papers. Oh no, they don't do that now. It's electronic. Uh, we still get the the um, like the Sunday. Uh, coupons and stuff like coupon Sundays. All right, looks like that's all of it off of this conveyor. And that's going to be done momentarily as well. So let's go, uh, go turn this guy off. Buckets are empty there. Let's go turn the water off. Oh, right, Gargoyle? <laughs> uh, somebody's getting ripped off here somewhere. Just saying. F12 on Steam. Yep. Yep. That's right. Uh, everything should be turned off. Good deal. Good deal. All right. I think we're going to leave it there. Where can you find the screenshot after? Um, it should be just in Steam. So if you bring up Steam and click on the game you were playing that you took the screenshot of and scroll down, you'll see screenshots underneath all the information about the game and you can click on it there. Uh, if you right click on it and it'll show in folder, you know, this and that. There's several different ways, but yeah, it should be on Steam afterwards. You're paying $100 for a $5 pair of jeans from China. <laughs> Rolling. You're probably not wrong, honestly. I mean, it, let's be honest about it. Have your pumps up by the back of the generator. I probably need to do the same with mine, Bob. Like, I don't see the problem in doing that since... Uh, uh, oh, hey, Dark. How's it going, man? I'm good, buddy. I'm good. Uh, I don't see the, the problem in doing that now, Bob, since you can put the connectors on and just run the... I feel like that's a long way for this thing to pump. But after this update, Bob, are we getting the new pump in the update, Bob? Speaking of which, somebody said we were. It'd be great to see his... Uh, oh, yeah, Brittany, absolutely. Uh, it'd be great to see the uh, multiplayer come in, which I don't think is going to happen for one. I think that's pretty much been confirmed as far as I know um I don't I don't know about the next gold rush if they're making one if it's gonna multiplayer I have no idea so I think it'd be really cool to have multiplayer because well let's be honest you don't run a gold mine by yourself so well I mean I guess Parker probably he would do it because he's that stubborn. Um, Todd's got to have 75 different people to run a truck. So. Redline jeans, Red Ape, and Calvin are expensive. Yeah, I have no idea. I've never even heard of Redline or Red Ape. No clue. 
I'm a I'm a I'm a simple fella. I wear flip flops year round and shorts, so I put a hoodie on in the winter. <laughs> that's about as that's like my extent. If I'm wearing shoes and jeans and I'm not going to work that day, you know it's cold outside. Are they making another gold rush? Yeah, that, from my understanding, it's a possibility. Um, I'm not 100% positive on that, but uh, my understanding. Let me save real quick. We'll just save over the auto save. Never going to be multiplayer. If any game needed to be multiplayer is this one. All <laughs> right. <laughs> Do stop saying what I'm typing. <laughs> <coughs> I guess that's true, Bob. I don't need to read it back. Chat's on the screen, so. Um, how do you show your screenshot? Show it. Where do you want to show it? I guess that would be the thing. Rent's more important to split. You got that right. Uh, it's amazing how priorities change. When I was when I was 19, I'd, I'd quit college and started working full time at Hancock Fabrics and uh, was making quite a lot of money for a 19 year old straight out of high school and uh, or straight out of college. Really, I dropped out of college, so college dropout was making a lot of money for me because I'd never seen that amount of money per year before. Uh, it wasn't six figures or anything. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's, it's Mississippi. We don't make that kind of money here unless you're well educated. Hey, John, how's it going, man? Hope you were well. Uh, the TV show, Buckham. Yeah. You don't like those guys, Corrine? That's funny. Uh, but yeah, so I bought a. Uh, I spent about thirty five hundred dollars in a couple of months on a, a remote control, gas powered remote controlled cars. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I had a stupid time, and uh, shortly thereafter, I sold it, and you know, started started paying bills. So, it's one of those things. New gold rush is starting next week. Parker Parker is in uh, Guyana. Yeah, that one's going to be interesting. Yeah, that one's going to be interesting for sure. Oh, thanks, Manny. Yeah, I missed the, the share and the screenshot deal. Did I miss Jeremy coming in? I think I did. Hey, Pace, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Morning, buddy. And I say morning to Pace because, well, it's still morning for him. So Pace is as far away from Roland as he can be. <laughs> How's your narcolepsy today, sir? <laughs> Are you guys ready to do some, uh, you guys ready to do some Sea of Thieves? Quick splash water on him. <laughs> uh, if you if you're ready to see a thieves, you be letting me know. Uh oh, pace says bad thing, and it makes me curious. What, what, sir? What is the bad thing? Pace would be the problem, matey. Yeah, I got about two hours from right now to see a thieves, so. Oh no, mine is too then. Oh, which means it charged my account, so, well, there you go. I've still got it.
me take a quick peek here. All right, let's have a look. Mm. Not sure if they charge my account or not, actually. Let me, uh, let me bring it up real quick. 